These two bodies of work in the show um, are part of an ongoing investigation into uh, the sublime that has been, I've been uh, doing for the good part of 10 years. Um, there are two different bodies of work actually. The larger, uh, more process-based works uh, are part of a kind of search for a type of resolution and through the material process, the pouring of paint, the manipulation, um, it's not so much about the, the image that's achieved at the end, but more about how the process and, and the final uh, kind of concrete form that's presented shows this kind of in-between state. Uh, similarly, uh, with the smaller works, uh, they are of concrete representations of catastrophes from aerial views. And it has these kind of barriers set up uh, where there's always this kind of uh, limitation in terms of how much of the representation can be really understood. Um, so with the small uh, paintings, they relate to things like uh, cell phone images, um, YouTube videos, JPEGs, uh, things that are kind of common in, uh, in our kind of uh, image memory today. So to speak on the process of the, the process paintings, um, involves uh, certain combinations of mixing acrylic paint and oil paint and various uh, oil-based chemicals and mediums. Um, and all of the different paintings start from different points. Some of them start with a, a wet black acrylic background on which oil paint and acrylic paint are poured on and chemical processes or chemical reactions happen where acrylic paint kind of gets pushed out of the way. Um, and sometimes when acrylic paint dries on the oil, it cracks off leaving holes. And part of this process is uh, to allow for these moments where uh, I, as an artist, can't control what's gonna happen. The materials themselves kind of fight each other and kind of make this kind of impossible situation where um, I, I, can, I can only dictate a certain amount of what happens. And I kind of push the paint around until um, some kind of motif or s somewhat familiar iconography forms. Um, not to the point where a specific representation performs, but something, a kind of archetype of an image uh, forms uh, that is kind of visually relatable. The idea of where the painting kind of exists in this state of flux or in this state where um, you're trying to solidify a moment or an image or an object or an event, um, but it never reaches that point of solidification. It's always kind of repeated through um, like it's kind of self-repeating and it relates back to this uh, idea of the repetition compulsion. <laughs> 